The problem simulates the wind flow through three tall buildings in a wind tunnel. The problem simulates the wind flow through several buildings in a given environment. In fact, these buildings are considered barriers to airflow. The flow around the obstacles in the way of wind flow, such as the flow around buildings, aircraft wings, ships, propellers, rigs, tall structures, and so on, has many engineering applications. In the present case, the wind flow around the three buildings is considered to be where the airflow enters it horizontally at a speed of 5 meters per second and hits the buildings. The purpose of this study is to investigate the behavior of airflow around buildings after colliding with them and to study the vortex phenomena behind these objects. This simulation is transient and the whole simulation process is done in one second with 0.01 second time step size. The present 3D model is drawn using the design modeler software. The present model consists of a very large area in the form of a rectangular cube and three tall buildings within this area with a height of 75 meter. The left figure shows a view of the geometry. Also, the meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The cells adjacent to the buildings are smaller and more accurate. The right figure shows a view of the mesh. To simulate the present model, several assumptions are considered. The pressure-based solver has been performed. The present simulation is unsteady in terms of time because the purpose of the problem is to examine the effect of wind flow on structures over time and also the effect of gravity on the fluid is not considered. In the scale mesh section, we can check the dimensions in all three directions and also view the length unit that in this simulation it's in meter. Via the mesh display section, we can see all the boundaries and surfaces, including buildings, inlet, and also the outlet boundary condition. You can buy this learning product to obtain a geometry file, mesh file, and a comprehensive training video on how to set up, meaning the pre-processing, solution, processing, and extracting results, which is the post-processing and analysis. At the end of the solution process, two-dimensional and three-dimensional contours related to the pressure, velocity, and turbulence kinetic energy, as well as two-dimensional and three-dimensional pass lines and vectors are obtained. The contours, pass line, and two-dimensional vectors are drawn in the XY plane. All the contours, pass line, and velocity vectors are obtained in the final second of the solution process. That means it's equal to one second. Here we can see the two-dimensional velocity contour in the Z plane. And as it's obvious, the inlet velocity magnitude is equal to 5 meter per second. And after passing through the buildings, uh, because of the smaller cross sections between the buildings, the velocity magnitude increases. Here we can see the two-dimensional pressure contour. We can see that in the face of the buildings that wind collide with the buildings, the pressure is more and also it starts to decrease after colliding the building so the pressure drop is obvious from this counter and here is the turbulent kinetic energy contour Also, in the same plane, we can see the velocity vectors.
here we can see the vortexes that are made after colliding wind to the buildings and these vortexes are made behind the buildings and finally we can display the pass lines on the xy plane To benefit from Mr. CFT services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcft.com.